Welcome Capricorn to your mid to end of August reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for the rest of August. Capricorn, I'm going to start off by looking at the first row as the possible energy beginning this time. The second row is going to be the area you should focus on. The third row are your possible challenges, if any. The fourth row are messages and advice from spirit. And finally, the fifth row is the possible outcome of the month. Capricorn, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to start off over here with the chariot and I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what the chariot is for Capricorn, please. The Ten of Swords. Capricorn, this is an incredibly positive energy. And what I'm seeing here might not resonate with all my Capricorns. And as you can see, we now have two tens coming through for you. Capricorn, what I'm seeing for you as the possible energy beginning mid-August is actually incredibly positive. Because my dearest Capricorns, if any of you have felt our Ten of Swords energy in any way, which is the energy, of being man or woman down, stabbed in the back, lied to, betrayed, experiencing a loss. It could have been a loss of a relationship, a loss of a home. This could be the energy of your partner suddenly leaving you with no explanation. This could be the energy of being gaslit by somebody you really trusted. Whatever this might have been for you, my dear Capricorns, by mid-August, we see now that this energy is starting to alleviate considerably. As you can see, the light is coming back, pushing back the darkness. And then what we have coming in for you is the chariot. Now this I really like to see for you. Because my dear Capricorns, you are going to come back from whatever this is, stronger, invigorated, more focused and more motivated than ever before. It's like you have learnt a deep lesson and you have taken it on board and now nothing or nobody is going to hold you back. The Chariot is a very powerful card. It's a card of success and it's a fast moving card. So whatever it is for you, you are shaking this energy off, my dear Capricorns, and you are back in the saddle again. As you can see, our chariot rider is just going full steam ahead. Those horses are not walking or trotting. They are galloping into the future. I like to see this, my dear Capricorns, because it tells me you are not going to let whatever this is hold you back in any way. It's like, okay. I understand what happened. I might have been down for a day, week or month or even longer, but I'm back and I'm going after what I want and nobody now is going to hold me back. Very strong message, my dear Capricorn. Let us see now what the Ten of Wands is all about that is sitting in the area you should focus on. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we just want to see now what Ten of Wands is for Capricorn, please. Six of Cups. Capricorn, you are being asked to focus on the ending of a tough period. And I do feel your Tens are connected. So whatever has happened here, it lets me know. You've been through the worst of it, my dear Capricorns. You worked through it. And for some of my Capricorns, this could have taken some time. But 10 is a completion number. 
it's ending now. You've got two confirmations of an ending of a very difficult period. So you, my dear Capricorns, are being asked now to focus on releasing this energy. So for example, my dear Capricorns, if somebody left your life suddenly, like a significant other called off a relationship, or a friend ghosted you, and all of a sudden you're just left thinking, what just happened? And you carry this energy for some time, thinking, wondering, how could it be? How could they do that to me? We had a, such a good relationship. And then just to get up and leave me hanging. And you had to work through it and come to terms with it. But it's over now, my dearest Capricorns. You are able to put down this heavy load. I'm very happy to see Six of Cups here for you. Because, my dear Capricorns, as you are going through these last few weeks of August, you are going to find out who your true soul tribe is. This could be family members or friends who are going to be there for you. These are the people I think that have already been there for you over this time. And you are being asked to focus on these people. Meaning, my dear Capricorns, spend time with them. Thank them for what they have done for you. These are the people who love you unconditionally and who want the best for you. And over these last few weeks, it's going to do you the world of good to be amongst people who appreciate as you release out of what could have been an incredibly challenging period. Now let us move on and see what Knight of Cups is all about that is sitting in your possible challenges. So we want to see now what Knight of Cups is for Capricorn, please. And you have Ten of Pentacles. My dear Capricorns, I do not see any major challenges coming up for you for the rest of August. As a matter of fact, I see the complete opposite. I see, my dear Capricorns, somebody or something coming in with an incredible offer or opportunity for you. This could be somebody asking you out on a date. Somebody you really like, my dear Capricorns. This could be a potential job offer. This could be finding a new home. This could be joining a new activity group and meeting new friends. As you can see, it's going to be so different for everybody. But this offer is going to come in in an area that is of meaning to you. And with that, we've got the Ten of Pentacles, which is an incredibly auspicious card. So we now understand that this cup is bringing you to your Ten of Pentacles. And Ten of Pentacles, for me, is the happily ever after card when it comes to our abundance, to our security on the physical realm. It could have a lot to do with your finances, your home, your money, your career and job. Whatever this is for you, my dearest Capricorns, it's exceptionally positive. And if an offer comes through in any way, give it time and attention because it has incredible possibility. Now let us see what the Nine of Cups is all about. That is sitting in messages and advice from Spirit. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So we want to see now what Nine of Cups is for Capricorn, please. And you have got Queen of Cups. Capricorn, you are presenting as Queen of Cups in this reading. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of Queen of Cups we are speaking about. And Queen of Cups is an emotionally wise and mature queen. This is the queen who has learned hard lessons, but it has given her life lessons and life experiences that holds her in a very good and mature emotional position. 
Spirit wants you to know that you could have gone through, my dear Capricorns, quite an emotional period with the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. And now they want you to receive something, my dear Capricorns, something that is blessed by Spirit that is going to give you the Nine of Cups energy. And Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. I do feel the Nine of Cups here is strongly connected to the Ten of Pentacles. So what we are seeing here, my dear Capricorns, is Spirit is coming in and saying, Capricorn, you've done exceptionally well. We've seen what you have been through. We have understood that it has not been an easy period. But it is over now. That is why we have the two tens. It's finished. You're moving on now. And now you're going to be receiving something that is blessed from us. Something that is coming through with the energy of an offer. That will have you feeling abundant and secure. And resonating with a deep dream and wish you have. What a wonderful confirmation coming through from Spirit. Let's move on and see what the Wheel of Fortune is all about that is sitting in the possible outcome of the month. So we just want to see now what the Wheel of Fortune is all about for Capricorn, please. And you have got judgment. Oh, this is a very strong reading, my dear Capricorns. Capricorn, what you have experienced with this two tens is an energy of judgment. It's an energy where you had to stand up and honor the call of our angel's trumpet. You had to go through the dark night of the soul to learn about who you are, what you are made of, what you can do, what you can't do, and also get a deep understanding about the people around you. But the judgment is over, my dear Capricorns. We've got the Wheel of Fortune coming in. So we have the chariot to start off with, which told us that you're moving away from the 210 energies. And now the Wheel of Fortune confirms in a very powerful way that things are changing and turning for you. This is being left behind. And you now, my dearest Capricorns, are about to experience the other side of the coin. You're about to experience the big change the Wheel of Fortune is bringing in. When the Wheel of Fortune comes in, the wheel turns and it turns in your favour. And we have seen this, my dear Capricorns, with the Chariot, the Ten of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Knight of Cups, strong, positive, abundant manifestation energy coming through for you. You can take a deep breath. The worst is over, my dear Capricorns. Gone, finished for good, and now you can embrace all the wonderful energy coming in. Let us move on now and get your spirit animal for this period. Right, let us see now what Capricorn spirit animal is for the rest of August, please. And you have got number 55, Snake Spirit, Time to Heal. Capricorn, your lucky number for the rest of August is 55. Any combination or variation of the number 5, please consider very auspicious. The snake is your spirit animal. So wherever a snake comes up for you, this too is a blessed sign. And your message is time to heal. And this is exactly what we have seen for you. With the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands coming in, you are beginning a period of healing and releasing any pain, trauma, upset and betrayal that came before. You are going to be able to close off this energy quicker than you think, as we saw with the Chariot card. You're going to be back stronger than ever. And what we see coming up for you, my dearest Capricorns, I do believe that Ten of Swords and Ten of Wands are very soon going to be a very distant memory. 
So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful rest of August and I am sending you all so much love.